The worst part that I found was actually telling people. Seeing her plants grow each spring marks another year that Eileen Rapley has survived lung cancer. When she was diagnosed in 2016, she knew the odds were against her, so she joined clinical trials to find new treatments. News of a breakthrough that could even lead to a cancer vaccine has amazed her and many in the science community. It would just take away all the dreadful treatments that some people have to have at the moment. It would make a vast difference, certainly the thought of being able to have a vaccine for something is just unbelievable, unbelievable, really. Key to the discovery of viruses from millions of years ago. Remnants of them now form almost 10% of human DNA, and they're usually dormant. But scientists have discovered that B cells from the immune system are recognising and targeting them when cancer develops. We went in and looked at the cancers and realised that actually what the antibodies were recognising, so what that B cell response was against, were fragments of ancient viruses that had been left in the human uh, genome, in the DNA, uh, from infections that our ancestors had had uh, hundreds of thousands or millions of years ago, and that these were somehow being reactivated in the cancers and that the uh, immune system was re recognising those as viral infections and creating an antibody response against the cancers. Experts say the implications for cancer treatment, including a vaccine, are huge. Any kind of vaccine for cancer wouldn't be to protect you from ever getting cancer. It would be a way of teaching your immune system to recognise cancer and go after it. And this kind of research could absolutely unlock something like that in the future, a part of the puzzle which would allow us to take our own immune system and make it target cancer. And that would be pretty extraordinary. It's still a long way off with much more work needed, but it's hoped it could one day vastly improve the chances of surviving cancer. The studies behind this discovery were based around lung cancer because it has such high death rates. But scientists believe new treatments developed as a result of it could be effective against many different types of cancer. While the research is still at a very early stage, Experts say the rapid development of COVID vaccines has helped to speed up science. So they're hopeful cancer patients could be benefiting within five to ten years. Becky Johnson, Sky News.